guys welcome to my winter morning routine i am currently listening to the rain right now i don't know if you can hear it but it's so calm and soothing and every single morning i just want to stay in bed for like 12 hours and just listen to the rain but i really just have to motivate myself to get up because i know it's for the better but one thing that i've been doing for the past year is not going on my phone in the morning this is so crucial to my morning routine because i have no distractions i don't sit on my phone in bed for half an hour scrolling through social media if you think about it you've been sleeping for hopefully eight plus hours if the first thing you do when you wake up is go on social media it could really have a negative impact on your whole entire day and not only that but personally it really just delays me and i procrastinate on it a lot and then i don't end up getting out of bed for like an hour so the best thing that i've ever incorporated into my morning routine is not using my phone in the morning i use it for my alarm and then it's just on my night table for the rest of my routine i've also gotten into the habit of making my bed every single morning which has been great because mentally it's a productive task that i accomplish first thing and it makes me feel good i think that ties into the rest of the day as well in a positive way anyways now's the time of the morning when i brush my teeth i don't do skincare because i'm going to be going to a workout soon and showering afterwards so that's the point of the morning where i do my skincare but right now i just rinse my face with water and brush my teeth put some mouthwash in and that's about it <laughs> This is the best mouthwash that I use every single morning. And there's also this one that I use at night. They're just a bit different. But this brand is really, really good and it's natural, non-toxic and everything. But it does such a good job at just keeping my mouth fresh and healthy for the whole day, which I really love. water boiling now for my warm lemon water and while the water is boiling i love to just get the dishes done first thing in the morning i know it might seem weird because i've gotten a few comments of people being like why do you do the dishes in the morning which i understand because it is i guess thinking of it now a little bit of a weird thing to do since it's so early but i don't know i just feel like i don't know what else to do while the water is boiling and it takes about like 10 minutes for it to boil so when i see that there's dishes that need to be put away from last night i just can't resist the urge but to clean the kitchen and if the dishwasher needs to be unloaded i'll do that if i'm like really rushing for my workout class or something and i don't have the time then i won't do it but if i have the time and if i'm waiting around for the water anyway Ways, then i may as well just do it and also in the morning if i don't get myself moving then i will go back to bed and that is one of my biggest tips on waking up early is you just have to keep moving your body when you stay still you are going to get so tired and you're going to want to sleep it's also really nice to come home from your workout and have a clean kitchen instead of having to do it afterwards so yeah that's the tea i'm going to start doing the dishes it is not really much it's just like i have to put away this because these are the dishes that we washed last night and then the dishwasher it needs to be unloaded so that is the little task of the morning but it really only takes me the amount of time that it does for the water to boil anyways <laughs> So today I'm going to make lemon water with Celtic salt and bone broth. This is the Bare Bones brand. I go back and forth between what brand of bone broth I use, but this is the one that I have right now in stock. So I just put this in hot water, mix it up, and that is literally it. It's so easy. This at least gives me some calories and some protein to put something in my stomach, and it's super, super easy to drink in the morning. And then lemon water with Celtic salt is just really good for hydration and cleansing my system. So if I have the time in the morning i'll have both of these and drink them while i journal and if i don't have the time then i'll usually just have my bone broth before the workout <laughs> So 
this is the Celtic salt that I use. You could pretty much get it anywhere at any like whole food grocery store probably. And I just take a pinch and add it in. This really gives you good minerals in the morning and replenishes them and good for hydration, I believe. So what I do to make my lemon water warm is I start off by putting cold water. I fill it up to about here and then this is boiling water. So I just put a bit of it in and then it ends up being the perfect temperature to drink. I also make sure to use a straw to drink because apparently warm lemon water is not good for your teeth. So it's recommended if you drink this to use a straw. So I'm just about to sit down now with my bone broth and my lemon water and journal. I use or I have been using the five minute journal. This one is the fit edition, but I go back and forth between the regular and this one. I've been using them for like years now and it's my favorite thing to do in the morning because it helps me practice my gratitude. I really make an effort to start each day on a positive note because it's so easy to wake up and dread your day, dread going to work, dread, you know, doing what you have to do that day and just not being happy. But when you make a conscious effort to incorporate things into your morning that really make you happy, even if that's like going out and buying a coffee, do it because the way that you start your day i feel like just really matters for the trajectory of the rest of your day and that's why incorporating things like not going on my phone and doing gratitude in the morning really really helps me start my day on a positive note every single morning when i write things down that i'm grateful for it really helps me realize how lucky i am to be living the life that i am and even the smallest things having a roof over my head and having shelter from the cold winter weather is such a blessing and you don't really wake up and just realize that every single day because we're so used to things like that it really just helps me throughout my day to pick things out and notice things that i'm really really happy for and that i'm grateful for whereas if i didn't practice gratitude i would never really notice these things and i wouldn't you know make an effort of being grateful for them so i think it's really important at least for me and my mental health to be happy in my everyday life it's like finding the beauty in your everyday life that's what i think gratitude is a lot of us just stroll through our life like we're robots and we just live every single day like the last not changing anything not doing anything to make us happy and i feel like life is so much more than that and it's so much more important than that if you you can try to find the beauty in every day it will really help you appreciate your life and realize that there are amazing things to live for and to be grateful for sometimes we're just blind to them and we just don't notice them because we're so caught up in our how much we hate everything your mindset is really everything it controls your life you choose whether to wake up and think positive thoughts and you choose to wake up and think negative thoughts it's a choice whether it's subconscious or not it's a choice that you make every single day and i choose to be happy everybody can do it wake up and say i'm such a lucky girl today everything good happens to me then that is what's gonna happen to you if you wake up and think negative thoughts why would anything positive ever happen to you you just have to take it until you make it that's my motto because when i first started the journey of the law of attraction manifestation and like all this positive mindset stuff i didn't really fully believe it and i was skeptical but i was like you know what i'm just gonna reprogram my mind and try it out so every day i would wake up and be like i'm so lucky good things happen to me i'm manifesting this and i would just kind of say it without believing it but eventually i noticed that things actually started to happen and i did start to believe it it just snowballs and it actually becomes a reality so even if you have to fake it and just say the words just do it because it helps and even if you have to fake it and write down three things that you're grateful for every morning just do it and write them down even if you don't feel it because that feeling will eventually come with it but yeah anyways i thought i would just go on a little rant there because starting off my day with gratitude is something that's really important to me and it makes me feel really really good recent new obsession when these types of tumblers went viral i didn't understand the hype around them until i actually have one now and this is the best thing ever this one is from bottle bottle and it is their 40 ounce tumbler so this actually keeps your drinks cold for 24 hours i will put ice in it in the morning and then the next morning the ice is still there and i'm shocked it also does hot so it keeps your hot beverages hot in here for 12 hours it has a huge handle so it's really portable and easy to bring along with you around the
around the house when you're leaving the house outdoors it's so easy to carry and it also slims down here at the bottom so you can easily bring it into your car into a cup holder it also has a dual lid design so you can choose either to drink from a straw or it has a spout here where you can just sip it from and it's so interchangeable you just go like that and then here is the straw and that is the sip hole but ever since i got this thing i have at least doubled my water intake because it motivates me to drink water and stay hydrated throughout the day this cup is also double insulated and it's also bpa free every single morning i make sure to fill this up all the way so that i start drinking it as soon as i can i actually have a coupon code for you guys to get you 15 percent off on bottle bottles website so i will put the link in the description to the website and also their amazon link so you guys can shop it thank you so much to bottle bottle for sponsoring this video let's go get ready for my workout now native deodorant it's paraben and aluminum free with eucalyptus and mint and i actually really like it and the smell is so good this is what i put on before my workouts every single morning and i got this in the states i haven't been able to find it in canada but this has been my go-to deodorant so i just got my workout clothes on for the gym i just have this long t-shirt workout material top from aritzia and then underneath i have my aritzia tna butter sports bra tna butter line is so soft and I love it. Their workout clothes are so nice. And then I have these Halara kind of like cross waistband yoga pants and they are flared at the bottom. And this material on them is also really, really nice and butter soft. I just put this long sleeve on because I want it to be warm going to the gym because I know I'm going to be really cold at first. So then I can always take it off and just wear my sports bra. But this is the little gym fit of the day. And then I also put my hair, as you guys saw, up in a little ponytail. This is my favorite hairstyle to do for the gym because it's just with a little scrunchie. It's not like pulling my hair. I hate putting my hair up too tight to the point where it like hurts my head. So this is just like the perfect medium. It's back out of my face. So yeah, this is my gym attire. <laughs> ginger turmeric lemon shot i have the recipe to this in my last video and i will link that recipe down below but i have been drinking one every single morning ever since after my bone broth they're just really good for immunity i think turmeric is good for inflammation and stuff like that i just know it's really good for you so yeah and it also has orange in it so it has some vitamin c and lemon so i'm gonna take this and then we're gonna head out that is so spicy i don't have breakfast until i come home from the gym just because if I eat before I work out, I tend to feel really sick. So I just have something light. And that's why bone broth is perfect for me before my workout. Because it's the perfect medium between putting some calories in my stomach and some protein. But not actually having to eat anything that's too heavy. So when I come home from the gym and shower, that's when I have a hefty breakfast. I'm going to go put this in the sink and then I'm going to head out. So I am just about to head out of the house. My lips in the winter are so dry. I have been religiously applying lip balm and this has been coming with me everywhere. Especially in the morning, I just feel like I need to lather it up. But anyways, I'm going to leave to the gym now. As for my workouts go, I have been doing two workout classes a week and two gym sessions a week. I find that's a really good balance for me right now. So I've been working out Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Tuesdays are normally my rest days and the weekend but sometimes i do work out on tuesdays it just depends if there's a class i want to take or if i feel like going to the gym it all honestly depends on how i feel because i really intuitively do it but movement in the morning for me is 
is so important because if I don't work out first thing in the morning, then I won't do it. I just feel like in my brain, working out is something that I correlate with getting out of bed and going to do right away. I don't know why, but I just can't get myself to work out in the afternoon, on a lunch break, after work. I love getting it done first thing because it just feels so accomplishing and then I can go on and about with the rest of my day and not have to worry about working out because I already did it and got it done and also towards the evening I get so tired anyway and all I want to do is like relax watch tv I just don't feel like working out in the evening at all I know some people prefer to work out in the evening which is crazy to me but getting movement at least three to five times a week is something that I really prioritize because it's so important for just my mental health even also obviously it's important for your physical health but even more important for my mental health because if I'm not moving my body and working out I don't feel good about myself and working out is just a way it's almost like therapy it just makes me feel really really good I'm not saying you have to work out to be healthy but find what works for you because everybody is different and for me personally that's just what works yeah so that's my kind of workout split for the week so today is gym day i'm gonna do a leg workout honestly sometimes getting myself out of the house to go to the gym is a lot harder than waking up for a workout class because going to a workout class is a lot more motivating since you booked the class so you can't really back out or else you could get charged etc but going to the gym it's like you can easily just back out and nothing will happen so on the days where I have to go to the gym I have to really really motivate myself to go and my determination has to kick in because it's so easy just to sleep in and go back to bed on those days that's why I really love workout classes because they hold you accountable so if you guys want to start working out more maybe in the new year I would really suggest to try out workout classes they're just so motivating and it's always such a fun time I go to oxygen yoga and fitness and I love them so much yeah, I just feel like it's a really really good investment. But anyways, let's head to the gym. I will see you guys when I'm there Run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to the strip club I'm never going back, never going back No, you can't make me Never going back, never going back They never take me So I just finished grocery shopping, but I have been eating one of these Hungry Buddha protein bars every single time after my workout, just because it's a long time for me after the gym to go grocery shopping, come home, shower, between the time that I eat. So this kind of just ties me over and gives me a little snack. It has lots of protein in it. Oh no, just realized I got the wrong one. I didn't mean to get this one. I meant to get the chocolate chip one. I'm so sad. It has like the same color packaging, so I guess I got it mixed up, but anyways, I'm gonna eat this on the way home. It's probably still gonna be good. Yeah, it's a perfect little bar to tie me over. So I just got home and I like to do a little grocery shop about twice a week after the gym, just because I feel like it's the perfect time. I'm already out and I can plan dinner and everything. Today, I'm gonna be making a white chili chicken soup for dinner. So the majority of these ingredients are for that, like the chicken broth, the chip, chicken, the lime, sour cream. This is a new vegan sour cream actually that I'm really excited to try. I just got some corn, some green chili peppers for the soup, and also some white beans. Picked up some eggnog for Joel, some eggs, some zevia because we needed a bit of a restock. But yeah, that's the little grocery haul for today. I like keeping up with my grocery shopping and I just like really found that I like doing it in the morning the best so that I don't have to go out just to do it. Killing two birds with one stone, so it's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to make my all-time favorite breakfast. It's pretty easy to make and it's so yummy and it's also healthy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. This is a yam potato or sweet potato. You can use either or. This one's pretty big, so I'm probably only going to use half of it. And now I'm just gonna peel it. 
Now I'm just going to cut it into small cubes. They don't have to be perfect, but if they're all around the same size, then that's just what matters. Now that my potatoes are nice and cubed, I'm just gonna throw them into a bowl. I'm just gonna drizzle it with olive oil. I'm just gonna put some salt, some garlic powder, and some paprika. Close the lid and mix it all together. I just transferred them to the air fryer basket and now I'm gonna put them in for about half an hour at 400 degrees, but I'm gonna do 15 minutes, take them out, shake them, and then another 15. And you just kind of have to check on them after that. I'm gonna throw them in and then let them cook. This is how the bowl turned out. I just put two poached eggs on top. That's my favorite type of egg to put on this bowl. And then I have it served with an avocado. And I made this sauce to go on top. It's just maple syrup with hot sauce mixed and it's so good. But highly would recommend. It's such a good breakfast and I crave it like every morning. I make this at least like two, three times a week. So it's so good. Good morning, everyone. I just have my laptop and my coffee now. I'm going to enjoy my coffee while going through emails and just kind of seeing my notion for my plan and what that's gonna be for the day before I actually like get ready and start filming or editing or whatever I have to do today. This is the first time I open my laptop all day and I just really enjoy doing it while drinking my coffee after I eat and everything. Let's start our work for today. I am currently getting ready for the day. This is around the time after I do my emails and drink my coffee where I like to get myself ready for the day. And I try to do this every single day so that I actually feel motivated to, you know, get what I need to get done. Because if I stay in my pajamas all day, every day, then I am never gonna wanna go out of the house or do anything. So getting ready is really an important step in my morning routine. Once I'm ready, I don't feel lazy anymore and I'll actually go out and do things. Getting ready is a little bit different every single day depending on what I'm doing. Today I'm actually going to the mountain, I'm taking the gondola up. We're going to go do some Christmas festivities, which will be in an upcoming Christmas vlog, which I'm so excited about. But stay tuned for that video. It's going to be up this weekend. So put on your bell notifications to get notified. But yeah, that's why I have, I just got dressed in my turtleneck because I'm getting ready. But yeah, I don't really do much makeup every day, but I like to put some on just to make myself feel a little bit more put together. My all-time favorite concealer still is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I love it so much and it's better than any high-end concealer I've ever used. It's just like my ultimate favorite for my skin. My sister is FaceTiming me. I wasn't gonna go back and forth on Snapchat, so I just had to tell you. Okay. So you're wearing a romper and a turtleneck. Yeah. 